Hi everybody. Today we're going to look at some art by Norman Rockwell. He was an American painter, did a lot of art in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. Um, very famous. He was known for making art that tells stories. Now the kind of stories that Norman Rockwell told in his paintings were about common everyday things that happened to, you know, everybody. Things that happened to our families, things that happened to our friends. Those were the kind of stories that Norman Rockwell told. Everybody is going to make some art today that tells a story. It can be a story about something that happened to you. It does not have to be. But it should be a story that can happen in real life. And what I am looking for is clues. This is a self-portrait, or really three self-portraits, of the artist Norman Rockwell, an American artist. We're going to look at a lot of his paintings in this lesson, and we're going to talk about how they all tell different stories. All right, so I am going to show you a series of pictures by Norman Rockwell, some of his paintings from years of painting. And what I want you to do is look for the clues in the paintings that tell the story. You can stop and pause if you're being if you're playing this asynchronously. You can stop and pause and look at it. I'm going to have a pause at the beginning of each painting. And then I'm going to tell you what I see as the clues. Maybe you'll find some clues that I didn't see and maybe I'll find some clues that you didn't see. But together we can come up with the story that Norman Rockwell is telling in all of these different paintings. What story is in this painting? The clues I see are the male uniform, the packages, and then the excited kids running. Another clue is the snow. The snow tells me the time of year. So I think it's around Christmas and the mailman is bringing presents and the kids are so excited to see the presents that they are running along with the mailman so they can get one. Now what clues do you see in this painting? The clues I see are two people dressed up very nicely. And they look sad. And I see two people in robes and their pajamas. One is holding a clock and pointing to it. These clues tell me that maybe these are two people that were out at a dance or something. And they were supposed to be home at a certain time, but are very, very late. And now they're in trouble with their parents. What clues do you see in this painting? The clues I see are a fishing pole, the sun, and the arm around the little girl. These clues lead me to believe that these two people went out fishing, and then it got a little bit late and the sun started to set, and they were enjoying the sunset, and then he put his arm around the girl because he liked her. So how about this one? The clues I see are a baseball hat and a baseball glove and a man putting glasses on the kid that's holding them. In the background, there's more glasses. This makes me think that this man's a doctor and he's giving this kid his first pair of glasses so he's going to be better at baseball. Now, what about this? I see a diving board and a kid that's peeking over it. I think he looks scared, almost like he thought he could go off the diving board when he was at the bottom, but once he got up to the top, it scared him. Now, what are the clues in this picture?
the clues I see are a police officer, a man smiling behind the counter, a little boy, and on the floor, it looks like what we used to call a hobo sack. It looks like a bunch of stuff tied up in a bandana that you can put over your shoulder. These clues tell me that I think this police officer found this little boy and he was running away and he's going to bring him home. But first they stopped off to get something to drink and told the cashier here and he heard the story and he thought it was kind of cute. That's why he's smiling. I like this one. It reminds me of you guys at recess. What are the clues? The clues I see are a basketball, some open mouths, and a lot of fingers pointing. I think they were playing basketball, and now they're in an argument about what happened and whether it was fair or maybe somebody was fouled or some argument about the basketball game. What are the clues in this picture? The clues I see are a blackboard that says, happy birthday, surprise, surprise, desks, apple, and a woman with a smile on her face. I think this was a class and they got there early on their teacher's birthday and wrote surprise messages on the blackboard. Now, what about this one? The clues I see are a sign that says principal, a girl with a black eye and a scraped up knee it looks like her clothes are kind of messed up. She's got a smile on her face. I think the story here is that she got in trouble for fighting. And now she's in the principal's office. But it doesn't look like she's that ashamed of what she did. It looks like she's still happy about it. Last one. What clues do you see here? I see a lot of smiling people and a person with packages and a suitcase. We see everybody else's faces that are smiling, but we don't see the face of the person with the package and the suitcase. This makes me think that he's coming home, probably for a holiday because he's got the presents, and everybody's really, really happy to see him. So you're going to make a picture today. Your picture should be about your story you want to tell, something that happened to you, something that happened to your family, something that could happen to your family, or just a story about an everyday, normal person like you and me. You can use whatever you'd like to draw this. Please fill up the page. And what I am looking for is the clues that tell me the story. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you that's off limits is word bubbles. We're not telling stories with word bubbles. We're telling stories like Norman Rockwell did with clues.